Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahole with Second Swing Golf here at the Minnetonka Tour Van, joined by Bella McCauley. Uh, and today's a fun one. Uh, it's a, another club kind of head-to-head -head comparison, testing with Trackman. But we've got Bella's Gamer Irons, the TaylorMade P790s, um, fit for your swing. And then uh, we're doing a kind of a 10-year-old comparison. So I went back, found TaylorMade Rocket Balls irons, and. Uh, I don't know if you've even heard of TaylorMade Rocket Balls. No, I have um, not. So back in the day, this is, again, I think 2012 might be the official date. Uh, someone can fact check me on the YouTube comments. But do you remember like the white driver heads back yes. in the day? So there was a TaylorMade yes. Rocket Balls driver, and this is the iron oh, so set that like was part of, part of the line. Yeah. So okay. Um, okay. aimed at distance, <laughs> aimed at forgiveness, that whole thing. Yeah. But we're going to see a little bit how 10 years of technology, um, you know, changes things. Yeah. So, uh, can you talk to us about your P790s, kind of the fit that you have now? Obviously, you get fit here at Second Swing with Aaron yep. Roth. Um, I know you've played P790s for a while, too, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. So I've actually played TaylorMade P790s probably for like four years now. Yeah. And um, these irons are brand new. They are like the newest model. Mm -hmm. So I've just like, every time I've come in, I've been like, had an open mind, like, oh, I could try something different. And I've always landed back on the P790s. Just they're really optimal for my distance. They're kind of a distance iron, but also provide um, a good amount of spin, a good amount of mm -hmm. forgiveness as well. So it's just kind of like a good balance for me, somewhere between like a blade and like something too chunky. So right. it was yeah. really good. Yeah, and I think I would say you're going to probably see it as well, but the Rocket Balls, the RBZ irons are a little bit, maybe more on the sort of game improvement side. Yeah. Um, but regardless, we're going to test them today, and, and I am also very curious to get your feedback on the fields. I imagine they're going to feel very different too. So yeah. um, I'll leave it up to you. Do you want to start with the old Rocket Balls, or do you want to start with what you're familiar with, with the P790s? Let's start with the P790s, okay. what I'm familiar with, and then we'll see the comparison. Okay, perfect. <laughs> All right, so Bella, we are ready to go here. We've got eight iron first, is that right, or six iron? Yes, eight okay, iron. So we're gonna do eight iron and we're gonna do six iron. Um, a little bit different than what we usually do, but we wanted to Come. get a couple sets of, of data with different clubs here. So, yeah. Um, what, uh, before you hit, is there a, do you have an expectation like on your numbers distance wise? Um, you hit this? It should be, I feel like track, like each simulator is a little bit different. Yeah. It should be somewhere in the 130 to 135 range. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's a pretty darn good first swing. So yeah, you're you're kind of in that zone of about 130. About yeah. Carrying it in the 125 range. Yep, that sounds about right. It kind of like. Also, Trackman's like some people don't know this, but they actually have like altitude on it. Yeah, I'm sure mm -hmm. you know, yeah. but sometimes that can mess with. Yeah, it as well. like we have it typically set to what Minnesota is, but we even went we went down to Arizona and it's things are a little different there. So, because if we wanted to, we could make your eight iron go about 170 yards if we wanted here. I'd we be cool with that. Pull the elevation up to 5,000 feet. That'd be that'd be cool <laughs> with me. Yeah, so we did a, yeah. we filmed a podcast when you're in Arizona with one of our fitters, Cliff Walzak. He's worked with PJ Tour, LPJ Tour. He talked about being zeroed out. Yeah. What that means, you know, you probably are aware of it too, like club path being zero, face angle being zero. You've had some pretty close to zero <laughs> across, the, you're pretty close. Um, and he was saying how the top players in the world, it's so unattainable for them to get zeros. Yeah. Um, you're getting pretty close here. <laughs> it's it's something I would spend months working on all winter. Yeah. Is that's like the main thing I work on is face angle and club path. Is those mm. are like the two biggest yeah. things, biggest like telltale signs of what you're gonna do on the golf course. Um, so pretty much I work on that. So hopefully it's anywhere I mean, like within like two degrees or less is yeah, typically, typically pretty good. Yeah, typically the ball pretty straight if you do that. But yeah, you just got a zero point zero club path, so I had to point it out. <laughs> A little more ball speed on that one. Yeah. Good. I mean, those are also every one of those is like dead straight. You just another club path at 0, 0.0. That's funny. Uh, okay, five shots in with your eight iron. This is your gamer eight iron. Yep. Um, you are hitting the ball like you said. I mean, you said 130 to 135. That's pretty darn accurate. Um, mm -hmm. And then I'll bring up the dispersion here as well. We've got a pretty tight little pattern there of shots there. You got. 
you can think about it, your farthest one was a total of about 137. Shortest one was just under 130. We go to carry, pretty similar pattern there. So yep. um, what I'm curious now is, about is, well, first of all, I'll hand you this. This is a um, regular flex sort of stock steel shaft. Okay. So it's going to be a little heavier probably than that. But also, I believe the loft on these is going to be weaker. So okay. because of that, you might not hit it as far with this. I'll probably have to, I'll verify this is, that. This is something. Yeah, what does that look like at a, at a dress <laughs> compared to what you were just hitting? It's funny because I feel like 2012 isn't that long ago, but like, yeah. this is like very It looks very different. different. The biggest thing just from mine is probably mine's a little bit of a thinner, thinner face. Yeah, it's going to definitely be thinner. Um, it also seems a bit heavier, but yeah. we'll see how this. Hey, first swing and not, not that bad. Not terrible. I feel like it's kind of, it's like heavier for me. Yeah, it definitely, so it's, it's definitely it's gonna be heavier. I think the shaft will be part of that. Being it's hard to get shaft. my ball, like swing fast and. Yeah, and that's, and then if it, if it is a little slower, like we're not gonna, yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the club. That's just the, it, the, I know. It that's also your feels, natural reaction to the club, so. It also feels like I'm able, like it's, easier for me to turn it over, like mm -hmm. draw too much because of like how heavy it is, but. That was better. <laughs> that was good, wow. That was really good. But Let's one see. one really bad one. Well, and that's what was that second to you're last. Hitting, you're hitting different different club. It's probably very unusual for you. That's why we're gonna get two different club, like six iron and eight iron. Um, yeah, one more with this one. But I actually Perfect. did confirm the loft is actually the same. Oh, really? Thirty and a half degrees. Um, so, so the loft should be very similar across both clubs here that we hit. So, okay. So the thing, you, one thing you noticed right away is that the weight of the RBZ with the shaft, which makes sense, yep. was going to be tougher for you to get the club speed, which means your ball speed was a little bit lower. You were hitting it pretty efficiently. Um, you know, the smash factor was a little higher. Um, what I will do is open up and bring the dispersion in here so we can see that. And that also kind of tells a little bit of a story here. These are eight irons. Um, yeah. So I see, I know I, what I like about this is I can see which one I prefer. Like if yeah. I was, you know, a, a fitter here. Um, I would, I would, tor I would definitely lean you towards the white circle, um, and I would also lean you towards the club that is more consistent, which is the P7. Yeah. Line. Granted, again, this is a club that's 10 years newer. It's totally fit for your swing, so um, we're not actually trying to break down the scientific method here for which of these is better. But uh, what did you think? I mean, you you were talked a little bit about the feel throughout, but. Uh, feel, look, um, you know, what did you think about hitting the RBZ there? Yeah, it, it wasn't, it was, I mean, it, it was, it was better than I thought it would be, to yeah. be honest. Um, I hit it actually fairly solid, as you can see by the smash factor, I felt like I hit it pretty good. Mm -hmm. I think one of the differences was just like, the biggest difference was it being heavier, I like couldn't hit it as, I feel like I couldn't swing as fast and like yeah. couldn't hit it as far. Also because of the heaviness and like the lack of control, I like noticed by that left shot, like it was harder to like have more control with like yeah. how straight I was hitting it. Also mm -hmm. like like that one, I kind of hit a little bit heavy just cause it's like harder to have a good feel with like, right. a club that's too heavy for me, but. Yeah, cause one thing I also want to point out too is the consistency of your face angle, right? So with the P790, your deviation on the face angle was under one degree. So, yeah. Um, whereas up here, it was plus or minus 1.3. So you had yeah. a lot more variation to where the face angle was. And if we expand it, you can see, you know, here you, you were closed 2.4 on that one. Yeah. Then you were open 1.4 on this last one. Yeah. And whereas these were all a lot closer together, not not a ton of variance there. So. Yep. Um, I can definitely see what you're talking about. So. Yeah, for fun, let's let's uh, let's grab the six irons Perfect. here, and we'll we'll see let's... if anything changes or if those trends continue. Perfect. 
That definitely sounded explosive. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. maybe even more. Wow. <laughs> Smash that one. These are really new clubs, so I actually haven't had a chance to oh, dial in the, be the on numbers. Trackman yeah. a lot with them. They may have gone a slightly stronger on the loss with this latest model, if I remember correctly. Because that one's smashed too. Look at that. Your smash factor is at 1.43 with that shot. That's pretty good. It's only getting faster. That's the shot, I think, right there. Yeah, that's That one really got good. up much higher. Yep. You, you curved it a whole one foot. <laughs> and... You had plenty of stopping power there, too, yeah, for, that a, one for was a longer a, iron shot. That one was well hit. That one might be right. Looked like it was a little bit. Yeah, it's still, still out there, though. Yeah, wow. Zero feet of curve there. It's just a dead straight golf shot. Tough to do. Okay. So we'll bring up this. Just for now, we'll unclick, uncheck those. So there's our dispersion pattern. Yep. We've got smash factor of 1.43 on almost every shot except this first one. 1.42, how could you do that? <laughs> uh, that's, that's just so bad. I <laughs> know. Uh, what do you think about that? So you went from the 8 iron of the RBZ to the 6 yep. iron that you play. Um, did it feel... Now that you went back to that with the lighter shaft again, did it feel faster and more powerful? I would say yes, like for mm -hmm. sure. And I also just felt like I had like a lot more control with it would yeah. be like the main thing. Um, mm -hmm. Like I said, this is one of my first times actually hitting on shaft man with these new clubs. Yeah. So kind of like seeing the numbers is a little bit new for me as well. Um, but I think, I think like the main thing with irons is but especially your eight iron, but with any iron is like consistency is absolutely key. And like yeah. if a dispersion is bigger than that, like mu mu much bigger than that, like you really, that's like not okay for an iron. So yeah. I think that's like the biggest key, the biggest difference between that I saw with the eight irons. And I'm curious if I'll see it with the, um, with the next club as well for the six iron. Yeah. Yeah. I do like how consistent the ball speed is for you with this club. Yeah. I mean, you're hitting it. It's 108 to 109 every single time. Yeah. Um, and you know the spin's pretty consistent right in there kind of the low 4000 uh for uh, mid 4000 for the most part you know that launch is the 20 degrees it's all pretty consistent so i'm curious now too on that part as well how consistent the, uh, yeah. the rbz six iron will be so um, sure. all right i'll give you that got it right here Perfect. again i probably i'm sure it's going to feel a lot uh, a lot heavier it's funny i remember that like coming out those white those white club heads yeah. those white club heads my cousin had one and i thought it was so cool <laughs> those were the the item in golf to have for they a while. were interesting did you felt like that you hit that one good that was pretty good okay i'm just no i'm just i'm just curious we already saw a big difference there in some numbers this uh this club's definitely a little bit quieter at impact yeah p790 is a little bit louder but this That's is crazy. This is I only have a four degree or uh, um, four, four mile per hour, miles per hour like difference in ball speed, but like the totals like huge. Yeah, you're different. so far again. What's we the have, loft? Are the is the loft? It the should same? be very similar. Yeah, I mean, because the the seven iron lofts for both are the same. So because you're launching it at the same angle, launch angle, right, just around twenty. That's a good ball right there. Yeah, that one's really good. Those okay. were actually felt really well yeah, hit. Yeah, I mean, you hit that club really good. That was, those are five really, really good shots. Is that five? I think that's five. If yes. I'm counting correctly. Yeah, it is. Okay. So, here's wow. our six irons. <laughs> Way bigger description. So, I like the fact that the distance consistency with your six iron is much better too. Yes. Um, you know, we can see like the, the speed was much more consistent. The ball speed was. Um, the spin was also much more consistent. 
distance numbers were also higher with your six iron, but also more consistent too. So things are just varying a lot more yep. with that one. Um, and again, part of that, part of the loss in distance is going to be, it was swinging a little slower with the heavier shaft. But um, I think you obviously are now comfortable with your kind of steel fiber shafts that are sort of the graphite mix there. Um, but you probably would never even go to a, a steel shaft. Is it, you just don't yeah. like the feel of that, you don't think? I don't think my club head speed's fast enough either, to be honest, for that. Yeah. So it just probably wouldn't fit me well. Yeah, I mean, there's, we could probably just go ask Mr. Roth and he would give us the whole <laughs> He'd the whole give breakdown. me the reason. But um, yeah, this is, this is fascinating because we've got a pretty big difference in distance here, but I'm, I'm, when it comes to irons, I think you also feel the same way. Like you don't really care how far your seven iron goes, or your nine no. iron goes, or your, you just want it to be a, a consistent spot. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, actually, I remember times even coming in to see Aaron, like my, one of my clubs is going too far and I just yeah. really needed to gap something. And so he'll add loft to it or whatever he needs to do to get me to hit, like not hit it as far. Mainly the thing about irons is just like being consistent, being accurate, hitting it like close to the pin. If you're like varying it by a long ways, like that's like the biggest problem. Um, it doesn't really need to go to the furthest. Like the main thing with distance, it just needs to be like a good gap between clubs. Right, right. Because um, like even for this one here, you got a, this ball that went 153 like total, problem. 142. <laughs> yeah. And then the other one here that carried 156. So that one's in the front bunker. That one's in the back one. Yeah, you basically have two... One club doing the job of two here, which is, yep. I shouldn't say the job of, it's doing, it's giving you a wide range of numbers. Yep. Whereas these were all, you know, you got your longest shot here, carry 163, your shortest one was 156. That's a lot tighter uh, range there. So this was fun. That was interesting. Um, yeah. It's kind of what I expected. Um, I figured with the heavier shaft, it might not be a total apples to apples and it never would be. But um, clearly you have a better fit in your bag right now, which yeah. makes a lot of sense. That was fun for me too, because I was not ex sure what to expect when seeing that yeah. something that's like same brand not too big in technology like of a difference yeah but um it to see like that big of a difference still with like distance is crazy yeah yeah pretty big difference so um we have a lot of those older sets here at second swing that uh, they still perform well uh, but also you can get fit for the newest and greatest in our tour van bays as well like bella has done so um golfers SecondSwing.com, Second Swing stores, schedule your fitting or stop in and, and one of our experts will take care of you. Bella, thank you for doing the test today. This was fun. Yeah, thank you. Get rid of those 2012 irons. Come in for <laughs> exactly. <some new> ones. <laughs>